All right, I've got a Samsung dryer here. Samsung dryer, it fires up. Uh, power will turn on, that's all good to go. But uh, the drum will not spin. So power turns on, drum will not spin. Uh, customer said that there was a loud bang before this happened. I'm wondering if it's the belt. But anyway, here is the model number and the serial number. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and try and take this apart, I do believe. There are some screws in the back right here. We'll start with this and that. We'll give it a go. So after you take those two screws out, this screw and that screw, just pull back and lift right up and this piece will come right off. So I think I may have already diagnosed our problem. Take a look at this. The drum belt should not look like that. The drum belt should be tight. So I think the drum belt either broke or uh, came off the, uh, the wheel that turns the drum belt. So let's give that a try. We may get this fixed today. Well, I'm back at the machine again and there is one screw right here. You can tell I already took that screw out. Once you take out that one screw, this whole piece, you probably want to clean it out, vacuum it out. And then you can get in here and see what's going on. Well, you can see the belt. The belt is not on this thing or that thing. So I need to put the belt back on and then test it out. Okay, I was wrong. Um, yes, the, uh, the belt is off the pulley but there's supposed to be something bigger on this. And I looked around a little bit. Here it is. It was off to the side. And this broke off of here. So I believe this is the idler pulley. Um, I am going to have to replace this part, right? So that's the part I'm gonna have to replace. And put it on there. And then uh, we'll hook everything back up and get it started again. All right, so this idle pulley assembly uh, just arrived in the mail. It's almost exactly like the one that we took out. It's a little bit different. I'll have to put the part number um, up here. I got it off Amazon. It was $10. The old one, this did not spin at all. So the ball bearings or something like that was shot in here. It did not spin. And that is why it melted on the inside here and uh, simply did not work. So how hard is this to put in? Well, right here in this little hole is one screw. I install it right in here and you can see right there, I'm gonna install it with that one screw and um, slip the belt over it. So let's give this a whirl. So there we go with one screw, and you can see that one screw right here. With one screw, I was able to install this. And look, it's got a little switch down here at the bottom. Look, look right down here, it's got a little switch at the bottom. When it is in its up position, the uh, dryer will run. When it is in its down position, the dryer will not run. So what I need to do is I need to loop uh, this belt right here around that and we should be good to go. We should be in business. So we'll give it a try. All right, so how are we gonna hook this thing up? Well, it's a little tricky to do with one hand, but if you look right down here, there is a spring and the spring needs to get connected to the bottom of the idler holy right where my middle finger is touching. So I'm going to get that spring. I'm going to attach it right here and the spring is attached right down there. So that's our next step. All right, so you see how I attach my spring here. So when I lift up, the spring kind of stretches. All right, so how are we gonna set this up? We're gonna start by taking the entire belt, going on top of the idler pulley. Notice it is not on, um, it is not on the, uh, the motor part yet. And then this loop right here where my middle finger is at, this loop right here, 
we're gonna have to stretch it out and wrap it around this part right here, wrap it around that. It's really hard to do with one hand, but uh, you kind of get the point right here. So my, uh, my ring finger is on this loop and it's that loop is gonna go around there. In order to do that, I'm gonna need two hands and it's gonna be kind of a stretch with this spring. So let me put the phone down and give that a try. All right, so look where we're at right now. There's the idler pulley. There's the motor. Here's the spring. The spring is getting stretched. So only the back of the belt is on the idler pulley and the inside of the belt is on the uh, motor thing. And we should be able to move this whole thing and the whole drum should move with it. So I think now we just gotta plug it in, and test it out. Let's give it a try. So when you're putting this back together, make sure that these tabs are aligned like so, but also make sure that you look down that hole um, and this would be like the male part and it fits inside another hole that's further down in there and it's just that one screw to secure it. So take care of those tabs, make sure they look like that, make sure the hole is lined up. Um, then we just gotta put the top on and plug it in.